Well, February is American Heart Month, and earlier this week, we learned how every age group can start focusing on preventative cardiovascular care. Today, we want to take a look at improving heart health through nutrition. Our next guest has some simple swaps anyone can make in their kitchen for a healthier heart. So we welcome back to the broadcast Maya Fella, a registered dietitian nutritionist based out of Brooklyn. And I, you know what, let's bring in our, our resident health guru, <laughs> Dan Manorino. Is that what I am? <laughs> well, I'm being nice. Today yes. you're a health guru. <laughs> Just you. don't tell OG I made you the health guru. Good morning, Maya. Thank you so much for doing this with us. Good morning, Marisol and Dan. How are you Good both? Morning. We're, we're great. So, you know, the first thing you say is to swap sugar. And it says cane for dates. Dan, do you know what that means? Um, I haven't been on a date since 2008, so I don't know. <laughs> I'm talking about date sugar or date syrup. So, you know, cane sugar is not an excellent source of nutrition. And when we consume cane sugar, it really produces this rapid spike in our blood sugars. So date sugar or syrup is actually lower on the glycemic index, meaning that there's less of a rapid spike. Now, you know, the WHO, that's the World Health Organization, recommends no more than 6% of your total energy as added sugars. So choosing these better for you sweeteners wow. is excellent for your heart health. I love a good bacon wrap date in the oven. Does that count? I mean, no? I mean maybe no. I give it to you. A little. <laughs> Probably not. You know, this one I found really interesting. So you suggest making the switch from wheat flour to almond flour. Now, do you have to adjust like measurements when you do that? So yes, absolutely. You're gonna have to adjust because almond flour is pretty dense. Mm. But when we hear wheat, I want to point out to people that they often are thinking that it's that whole wheat that's recommended for cardiovascular health. Wheat flour itself is not whole wheat. Unless mm. it says whole wheat, it's not. Wheat flour has been refined and so that fiber has been removed. It's really processed. Almond flour, on the other hand, it is dense in terms of baking, yeah. but it's a great source of fiber, magnesium and E, and those are the antioxidants that are excellent for our heart health. An antioxidant is such a buzzword, but I, you know, I do say like, I have almond flour, manna also has almond yeah. flour, but it kind of changes the texture of what you're baking. Yes. So it, you're the expert. Do we just kind of suck it up and say, no, that this is a little denser than I want my cookie to be, but it's doing so wonders for my heart. So I actually, when I bake at home, I like to mix it up. And so maybe I'll do a quarter cup or a half a cup of almond flour, and then I'll do a little bit of whole wheat flour, or maybe I'll do an alternative grain, just to play, as you said, with the texture, because it can be I so see. dense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and truth be told, uh, Dan and I sort of compared pantries yesterday. Yeah. Do you want to tell her ah. some of the, the flours you're using? Yeah, I mean, I had, I had coconut flour, almond flour, wheat flour, flour. Flour, but flour. No, but nothing, flour, flour. But nothing compared to what Marisol had, which is something I never even heard of, which was garbanzo flour. And I was like, all right, you win. Yes, yes. I am a huge fan of garbanzo flour. I put it into everything. Okay, that's good. I'm just going to need a recipe for you because the bag has <laughs> yeah. not been opened. I just knew, I just heard somewhere that it was really good for you. I was like, yeah. oh, I'm going to buy garbanzo flour. Okay, uh, more with the swapping out. It, you say out with the sour cream and in with full fat yogurt, yes? Yes, yes. So sour cream and full fat yogurt, they both have that like tangy flavor. And full fat yogurt can really be substituted so you did so easily for sour cream. And full fat yogurt is a great source of probiotics and that's helpful for gut bacteria. Full fat. Now when we're thinking, Yes, full fat yogurt. There's actually great research looking at full fat yogurt as a part of a regular healthy diet because it's linked to better blood pressure. And blood pressure, as we know, is so important for cardiovascular. So I don't want to give away I don't want to give away brands, but I'm looking at my yogurt right now. Oh it says 2.5 grams of fat. You want more? Well, so I like the full fat because it helps with satiety, meaning like if you have full fat yogurt and you put some nuts or seeds on top of it, maybe even a little bee pollen if you want to get fancy, you know, a little date syrup, you're going to feel satiated. Mm -hmm. You're not going to be looking for something in 30 minutes. Okay. And I'll, I'll tell you, I made a tzatziki dip the other day. I didn't have yes. sour cream, but I had yogurt. It was delicious. Look at None her the throwing way. out these terms. A, no. a, a tzatziki dip. You know, I like to go to the Greek island sometimes <laughs> <laughs> in my kitchen. Uh, but speaking of sour cream, potato chips, I am a sucker for salty, See, you know, like a salt and vinegar potato chip. I have never been a potato chip fan, so that's why I'm glad about this swap. You're saying swap out potato chips and bring in the popcorn. Now, what kind are we talking here? 
Mm. Okay, so I'm talking about air popped popcorn or popcorn that you've popped on your stove that has minimal additives, right? Movie so theater butter. About pop <laughs> right, exactly, movie theater butter. Not that at all. <laughs> no, the ones without the movie theater butter, the added sugars and the added salt. So not the kettle corn, right? Um, it's super crunchy. It's a whole grain. It's got great fiber and B vitamins, magnesium, zinc. Actually, I'm obsessed with popcorn. Oh. When you put a little bit of nutritional yeast on it, it has like a it's cheesy, like a tangy flavor. Mm -hmm. So good. A what? So good. It's a cheesy, Nutritional tangy. yeast. Yeah. It's a powder? What is that? Mm -hmm. So it's, a, yeah, it's a yeast powder. As and I'm it has my like, finger, I'm so hungry. So I'm like, <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Tell me so more. Like, it makes it into like a cheesy vegan popcorn. Mm -hmm. It's pretty amazing. And it has even some B vitamins in it. Okay. I got to look into this. So, yeah. so not like the skinny pop bag? No. Well, the skinny pop bag is fine. Add some nutritional yeast on it. Some people call it nooch. Add a little nooch on it. <laughs> nooch. I love it. My soul apparently has that has, has has some nooch on her finger. I have something on my finger. <laughs> okay. Maya Fella, thank you so much. We appreciate your Good time stuff. and all your helpful tips. And Maya's website is listed uh, below for more nutrition tips. Give me the popcorn, please. Yeah. Somebody. Nutritional anybody. yeast. Okay.